Now, there, this was on the content theory, the what. We have Maslow and we have Herzberg. So let's look at Herzberg now. Herzberg has a similar but slightly different way of looking at motivation. He says there are two types, two factors. One is called motivators and the other one is called hygiene factors and of hygiene try to think of somebody's personal hygiene right it should be at a threshold minimum right you want people to actually take a shower that's the bare minimum right try to think of the hygiene sign like that way it's kind of a bare minimum type of thing the idea of it anyway motivators though is much more powerful it goes much further it's much more motivating and so that's why what Hertzberg does is he makes two categories of things one is kind of basic hygiene factors the other one is the actual thing that motivates people and what does he say motivates people recognition obviously we're talking about at work here giving more responsibility to somebody will motivate them the feeling of achieving something achievement oops i forgot an e there and advancement feeling of progressing of going somewhere so these four are actually motivating the hygiene factors are believed to be motivated but they're not at least for her Herzberg Pol oops policies and admin supervision salary oh my god that's right the salary guys I know and now you're probably thinking well it's all because of Hertzberg's fault that I'm getting a low wage in my job and I'm unhappy maybe um, you can agree or not with Hertzberg theory here that's not the point we want to try to pass the exam okay so he's saying salary is just a hygiene factor and he also goes further he says when you have a big crisis right a strike you guys know where a strike is very popular in france where the workers want to stop the factory right they're not happy about management when there's a strike the workers ask that's their demand we're only going to go back to work if you give us all of this more wage better working conditions better policies and admin all the time that's what happens and Herbert says they ask this and you can give it to them but that's not going to motivate it's not going to improve anything what's going to improve things it's going to make people more satisfied and more happy you should actually give so let me say should give motivators not hygiene factors i know very sensitive area right you can agree or not I'm just giving you the models here, guys.